Hey guys, we're back at it again at Android Central Live, SDC 13, and obviously with uh, this being a Samsung developer conference, we have a lot of note, note taking, Note 3, Note 10.1 stuff going on. This is Andrew with Papyrus, and uh, he's got quite a bit to show off here with the uh, stylus in the Note 3. Yeah, um, so Papyrus is a, a natural handwriting note taking app um, that you can use just like you would write on paper, um, but you can do it on uh, any Android device, but it works really well on Samsung devices with the S Pen. Um, so it, it allows you to um, use the S Pen, use pressure sensitivity, take notes naturally. Um, we can detect the difference between the pen and the finger, so we can do things like the user can write with the pen and then erase with their finger. Um, oh, so great. we get access to really quick functionality rather than having to go through the tools. Uh, the menu to, to do that. Right, and so uh, you said it works best on something with a, uh, you know, kind of a high-tech stylus situation. Right, uh, does, was that really easy to integrate with, with Samsung's uh, uh, custom stuff there? Yeah, well actually in Android um, 4.0, uh, they actually added active pen capability oh, to great. the actual Android SDK, so um, we're able to use it on any device that supports an active pen. And so what kind of interesting things are you seeing people using this for? Are they just jotting down grocery lists or are they, you know, uh, you know, drawing characters or something. Yeah, on it. it's it's been amazing. We've we've seen yeah people use it just for simple things like grocery lists, taking notes in class, taking notes at business meetings, and then we've been also astounded by by people who have drawn you know, amazing things. There's there's right. one guy in particular who draws these polar bears in, uh, okay. in in comics, and so he's just created amazing drawings. One of which is one of our screenshots in the Google Play Store. Oh great! Um, it's a it's vector based, so that's one of the main differentiators okay. between our other. Um, between our competition, so that allows things like um, you yeah, can. Yeah, why don't you show us if you have an example of how that would work for you? Yeah, so so here I've, I mean I've written some notes. I can uh, zoom in, and and as I zoom in, it it redraws it. So oh great, uh, great. It, it still looks good instead of pixelated at, mm -hmm. at a different zoom level. That also allows us to export it as a PDF, and it retains that vector. Okay content, so then you can share it with other people. No matter what size screen they're viewing it on, it still looks good. And I'm sure that makes a difference when you're looking at something like the Note 10.1 or some of these higher res tablets right. that are you know, 2500 by 1600. You can work with something and then you know blow it back up or yeah. scale it down and not, not have it distort, because if you draw a fancy polar bear art or something, you want it to look good on the bigger screen too. Exactly. So what kind of stuff can you do with your notes once you, once you take them? Are you do you just have it siloed in, or are you going to share these out or collaborate? Right. So right now, um, you can you can take notes, multi-page notes. Uh, another uh, big feature we have is is infinite page size. So by default, the page okay. are infinitely long and infinitely wide, but you can change that to be um, eight and a half by eleven, A4, things like that. But once you take your notes, they're stored. You can put them, arrange them in different notebooks, and then you can share them either as a PDF or PNG or JPEG with any service that accepts those on Android, just using the um, normal intent system. Okay, that's great because you know then something you know Evernote could easily just take in a PDF exactly. or you know any other app that can do uh, OCR, and you can start reading in from there as well. Yeah, so we have a lot of users who use it with Evernote to export their notes as, as PNGs in particular so that it can do, so Evernote can do the OCR stored in Evernote right. and be able to search through their notes within Evernote. I think that's really important because, you know, something like note taking, you really, you know, starting the list is, you know, of course, just the beginning of what you're going to do with it. You want to be able to act on it with somebody else or, you know, sketch up on something, you know, what do you, you know, what do you think about this? Send it over. Um, do you guys have a simple system for somebody to, um, Mark it up, send it over. They mark it up and send it back. You know, is that the collaborative kind of stuff that? You're right. Saying? So we don't have. Uh, you can mark something up and you can send it over. Okay. We don't have um, being being able okay. to send it back. Our number one requested feature is PDF import. Okay. Um, right. And that's something we're working on right now of and course. hope to have available soon. And that will allow people to import a PDF document, whether it's um, slides from an event like this right. or. Um, a teacher's presentation to an invoice in a small business where somebody just wants yeah. to be able to fill it out, mark it up, email it to as many people as they need to, then they could import it into Papyrus, continue to mark it up, and email it back. Right, and then you just, the possibilities are limitless there exactly. once you start moving around. So you had a couple of good examples there in a school setting, in a business setting. What is the 
coolest example that you've heard of from somebody that's uh, using your app to do something really interesting? Well, I, we've definitely been amazed with um, how people, how artists have used it. That was not an, an intended thing. I'm not an artist. Right. I wanted, I created this originally to be able to take notes better in school uh, when I was in college. Okay. And um, so I've been amazed at how people have been able to use it for. Um, for doing drawings um, all the way to, to taking notes and like you said, just simple um, to-do lists or, or uh, grocery lists, right. simple things like that. It's, it's really interesting to see what, you know, a couple simple um, enabling features as, as such as the, the pen and then, you know, a couple apps are built, you know, Papyrus is one of them and then everybody just jumps off from there and, you know, all of a sudden people, you know, transition from regular pen and paper to seeing the benefits of being able to, you know, sketch it out and send it off and everything like that. Exactly. So do you have anything else that you want to uh, demo for us really quick? Um, I know that you showed us a lot of interesting features in Papyrus. Yeah, um, I can. So with the, uh, the vector graphics that allows us to also do things like if I choose the selection tool, um, I can select, oops, I can select any of these things, move them around. I can uh, change the thickness after the fact. I can change the, uh, the color, um, resize it. I can copy and paste what I've drawn oh, to great. the same page, another page in a note, or completely different mm -hmm. notes. So it allows, especially in sort of the classroom setting, if there's um, a lot of repetitive drawings, especially, or charts, mm -hmm. you could draw it once, select it, copy it to the clipboard, and then paste it as many times as you need to and just fill in the values, for example. So it makes things like that that on paper would you'd have to redraw right. everything just a lot easier. Right, so you're really taking, you know, the best of what the electronic version has to offer and, you know, bringing that into, you know, bringing people up to the modern age, so right. to speak. So. Right, All right, well, that's fantastic. Andrew, we appreciate you talking about Papyrus with us and, of course, with the Galaxy Note 3 as well. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yep, thanks a lot, guys. We'll be coming back uh, with even more talks about apps, talks about all kinds of services. This is Android Central Live at SDC 13.